Okay, team, let's rewind. Here's what's been happening on Ghost Ride. The facts. First, some really bad things have been happening at Hurston. Tina's new jacket was stolen from her locker. So was Maria's camera and Delilah's tape player. So far, the team knows that Maria's camera has super shots written on it, and Delilah's tape player has Tronic on it. Tina had a grocery list in her jacket pocket, so she asks Ghost Rider to find the list and read what's around it. That way, maybe the team can find the jacket and the other stolen stuff. Meanwhile... You want me to try out for the dragons? You were right on the court the other day. Alex tries out for the team and makes it. Alex starts hanging out with Kevin a lot. Kevin's one of the best basketball players around, and Alex thinks he's really cool. Alex learns that Kevin uses code names based on fairy tales for different things. Like he calls his grandfather's pro basketball trophy Aladdin's Lamp. Alex has to learn all the plays in the Dragon's Playbook. But he's been so busy with the team, he forgets his chores in the bodega and gets in trouble with his dad. And... Ghost Rider sends some clues, and the team figures out that Tina's jacket is at Ralph's garage. What's my jacket doing at a garage? Jamal, Tina, and Hector go to Ralph's garage and see Delilah buy her own tape player back from Big Ralph. But why would she do that? I bet it's a fence. A what? A fence. Those guys buy stolen stuff from thieves. Then they sell it to other people. So, Big Ralph is a suspect. Then... I can get the jacket back. Wait. No! H Hector, no! Hector tries to find Tina's jacket, but Big Ralph finds Hector. Will Hector be okay? Get your pencil and case book and start piecing the puzzle because the Ghost Rider team is on the case. Hey! What are you doing in there? Huh? I said, what are you doing there? Mi bola! Speak English! Mi bola, mi bola! I think he's trying to say that that is balls in your trunk. Well, how to get there? And who are you? Where's babysitters? Next time I find you in my trunk, I'm locking you and your bowler inside. Actually, sir, we came to buy a jacket, a sheepskin jacket for her. What are you talking about? We heard you sew things, like like uh, jackets and radios and stuff. Who sent you here? Uh, a friend. A friend? A friend of a name? A name? Bond. Juan Bond. Juan Bond? my place and celebrate. I'm down with that. All right. You coming, Spencer? Oh, I can't. I, I got work to do. Party pooper. We don't need him. Right, Alejandro? We can get started on our project for urban studies. Yeah. But first, we celebrate our victory. <laughs> How come that big Ralph guy wouldn't let Tina buy our jacket? He sold Delilah her tape player back. Delilah must have known what to say to get big Ralph to do business with her. She can know a secret password. Yeah, but how do we know what it is? I think we should go back to Big Ralph's tomorrow. Yeah, but he said to us to get out of there and don't come back. We'll just have to find a good hiding place and keep an eye on the garage. I know. I could borrow a video camera from school. Why? Whoever's robbing our lockers is selling stuff to Big Ralph, right? Right. So if we videotape the thief selling stolen stuff to Big Ralph, we could show it to the police. All right. Dragons, 32, Knights, 28. Alejandro, 18 points. Spencer, 8 points. And Kevin, 6 points. Man, I stunk up the court. Ah, anybody can have a bad day. You sure didn't? The way you took all those pressured shots, it was courageous. And... Since you're the MVP today, you get to light up. That's pot. Also known as marijuana, reefer, 
Don't tell me you've never smoked a joint before. I've never done any drugs. Whoa! This is so cool. I get to introduce you to pot for the first time. Here. Maybe some other time. I got a lot of stuff to do when I get home. You know, work and stuff. See ya. Catch you in school tomorrow. Yeah, maybe we'll work on our urban studies project. At least pick a topic. Yeah, sure. Tomorrow. Where do you think you're going? I want to sweep outside. Why? Your sister already did your job. Hmm. After we got a $50 ticket for having a dirty sidewalk. I'm sorry. I forgot. You're not getting any allowance until this ticket is paid for. I have to save up my allowance to pay for my dragon's jacket. Why don't you try wearing this ticket instead? I hate this stupid story. Alejandro no quiso decir eso. Yes, I did mean to say that. Things that I care about, like basketball, aren't important because the stupid store comes from. Stupid store? Stupid store? Eduardo, calm down. When we first opened this bodega, we could not move without tripping over him. Because he loved this store so much and wanted to help out all the time. I'm not a little boy anymore. Well, why don't you stop acting like one? You have a job to do. And as long as you're a part of this family, you will take care of your own responsibilities just like everybody else. Now, do you understand me? Me comprendes? Si, comprendo. How's the game? Did you win? Just leave me alone. Why are you biting my head off? I didn't do anything to you. that you had to pay to get your tape player back? Yeah, it's unfair. So what? So tell me how you found out that Big Ralph had your tape player. I can't, Lenny. I promise. Oh, great. You want to protect someone who might be ripping off you and your friends? Did you know Maria's camera was stolen, too? There's nothing I can do about it. <sighs> Delilah, it's not safe to be leaving things in our lockers anymore. We have to do something. And if you don't help, it's like telling the thief it's okay to rip us off. It was Spencer. He told me Big Ralph had my tape player. Spencer? What did you have to say to make Big Ralph do business with you? I had to say, Spencer sent me. That's it? Don't tell Spencer I said anything. I won't. Thanks. Suspect number two, Spencer. You gotta be kidding. I wish. You stuck in my room all afternoon adding up receipts for the bodega. You're gonna miss a slamming party. My whole posse's gonna be there. Mary Jo's gonna be there. She is? Yeah, she's got an eye on you. For real? She thinks you're hot. What are you doing 
anything, Alejandro? Uh, nothing. Yeah, well, I suggest you stop daydreaming and try doing some work. He could have knocked. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. Kevin, what's going on? What are you doing here? Maybe I'll be escape. You have to share your room? Yeah, with my little sister Gabby. You gotta be kidding. I wish. My parents still think I'm a kid. Alejandro, you gotta do something about that, man. Yeah, I know. What happened to the party anyway? I uh, broke up early. And I didn't want you to feel left out, so I, uh, brought you a little something. Have a break from all this hard work, don't you? I sure do. My mother, get this out of here. Go, Alex. Come in. The door is locked. Come in. Why was the door locked? Because I need some privacy. Papa just bursts in without knocking. Alex, we're your family, not your enemies. I know. Then act like it. This family has to work together to keep the store going. You can't walk around with an attitude whenever we insist you do your share of the work. Your father and I care, and we love you very much, but we demand you be responsible. ¿Me comprendes? Sí, mamá. I understand. Big Ralph never will see us over here. That's the idea. Hey, Cole shot us on the stakeout with us. Maybe he'll find some clues. Who's he? It's Fenta! I told Delilah about Big Ralph. He's selling Big Ralph something. Maybe it's stolen stuff. Goldsword must have read something in the bag. Lock will knock on your door. What could that mean? I'm writing it in the other clues section. We'll figure it out later. Now that we've got Spencer on videotape, selling stuff to Big Ralph is a major suspect. I think we should go to the police station and tell Lieutenant McQuaid what we know so far. Alex. I'm busy. Sorry. It's freezing in here. What is... This is a marijuana joint. Give me that. Is this yours? Do you smoke pot? No, give it to me. Alex, you're hurting me. Well, and keep your hands off things that don't belong to you. Where did it come from? None of your business. It is my business when you bring drugs into my room. It's my room too, so butt out. Hey, 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 what's going on in here? Keep it down, huh? Thanks for not saying anything. I didn't say anything because I didn't know what to say. I don't know what's happening to you, Alex. And I am really scared. Lieutenant McQuaid said he's going to check out Big Ralph. Good. Did you question Spencer yet? No. Still looking for him. Mm. I've got urban studies this period. I've got to go, okay? All right. Bye. See ya. Arnie. Hi, Tina. Hi. Where'd you get that camera? Why? Because Maria had one just like that, and it was stolen. So? 
This isn't Marie's camera. There's a daisy stick on it, just like hers. That doesn't prove anything. I bought this camera with my own money. From who? Big Ralph? Marty! Suspect number three, Arnie. I want a topic on my desk by tomorrow. No excuses. What if Kevin is absent again? No excuses. You okay? You know, I'm sure Mr. Johnston will let you work with Jeffrey and me if you... Look, Jamal, just... I don't need your pity. I don't pity you. I just want to help you. Just butt out, all right? So what happened? Someone broke into my locker. No. What's missing? The gold bracelet my girlfriend gave me. Was there anything written on it? Yeah, it said, uh, love you forever. You know what the number for? My sister found it. Oh, man. I'm really sorry. Didn't you notice the joint was missing? Yeah, but that was way later. I thought I might have smoked it and forgot about it. Did you bring it with you? Are you crazy? You think I'd risk getting caught with drugs in school? Bring the joint to my place after school. I'm going home. I don't feel so hot. Kevin, we have to work on our urban studies project. Mr. Johnson went ballistic on me today. We'll work on it later. I'm serious. Mr. Johnson wants a topic by tomorrow. I promise. Bring your books to my house. Don't forget about you know what. Fighting with the whole world these days. Maybe some people take drugs to copy off friends who they think are cool. If drugs aren't cool, I don't want my brother to be a drug user. up to him. I wish I could talk to Alex the way I talk to you. seem to come out clear when I write them down. What else did I say to Ghostwriter?
wrote from your heart? About what? Oh, uh, just something I wrote to Alex. Gotta go. <laughs> Is anything happening yet? You have to be patient on the stakeout and keep watching. I wish Alex was here. Alex is never around anymore. He's so busy with that basketball team. He's not even interested in the case. Tina, look, Ghost Rider. Love you forever. Where's Ghost Rider reading that? Hey, somebody's with Big Ralph. Can't tell who it is. You can only see an arm. What's that in his hand? It looks like a gold bracelet. Wait a minute. Love You Forever was written on Jason's bracelet. Then that must be the thief over there with Big Ralph now. <laughs> Alex, open the door. It's locked. Alex, I wrote this letter for you. I don't have time, Gabby. Do you know where the pants were that I was wearing yesterday? No, why? I left a joint in there. I have to give it back to my friend. But, Alex... Not now, Gabby. Dear Alex, I'm worried about you. Are you using drugs? If you are, please stop. Drugs can hurt you and make you sick. Just because someone else is doing drugs doesn't mean you have to copy off him. I look up to you, Alex. I don't want my brother to be a drug user. I love you. Your sister, Gabby. Ghostwriter's worried about you, too. I can take care of myself, Gab. Hope so. studies project. Oh, yeah. Forgot. Write this down. Our topic is urban parties. <laughs> Serious. So am I. Chill. I can't. I can't find the drug that you dropped in my room. My parents find it. I'm dead. Alex, relax. Do you see any parents here? No. Are you sure? You want to check under the bed? No, I'm sure. Good. Let's get loose. Yeah, all right. Time to take the trip up the beanstalk, Jack. Kevin, I can't. Oh, come on, you're not going to punk out again on me, are you? Not in front of all my friends? Not in front of Mary Jo? Uh oh, here she comes. Come on. Be a man. Light up. <laughs> <laughs> 